Eleven Labs, which uses AI tools to create and edit synthetic voices, and which you've heard me experiment with on this show, has raised an $80 million Series B co-led by A16Z, Nat Friedman, and Daniel Gross at a $1 billion plus valuation. This is up from a $100 million or so valuation last June. Quoting TechCrunch, Today, Eleven Labs is perhaps best known for its browser-based speech generation app that can create lifelike voices with adjustable toggles for intonation, emotion, cadence, and other key vocal characteristics. For free, users can enter text and get a recording of that text read aloud by one of several default voices. Paying customers can upload voice samples to craft new styles using Eleven Labs' voice cloning. Increasingly, Eleven Labs is investing in versions of its speech-generating tech aimed at creating audiobooks and dubbing films and TV shows, as well as generating character voices for games and marketing activities. Last year, the company released a speech-to-speech tool that attempts to preserve a speaker's voice, prosody, and intonation while automatically removing background noise and, in the case of movies and TV shows, translates and synchronizes speech with the source material. On the roadmap for the coming weeks is a new dubbing studio workflow with tools to generate and edit transcripts and translations and a subscription-based mobile app that narrates web pages and text using Eleven Labs voices, end quote. Eleven Labs has apparently seen uptake in the gaming industry. For example, Paradox Interactive, the developer of my beloved Cities Skylines 2, is using them, but apparently so is the Washington Post. And the company claims 41% of the Fortune 500 have been experimenting with their wares. Competition in this space includes the likes of Paper Cup, Deep Dub, Acapella, Respeecher, and Voice.ai, as well as the similar products from the likes of Microsoft and Google. <laughs> 